Matt Gates, Matt Gates, fresh off of his conference speech where he says that only, I guess, hot women deserve to have control over their bodies or something. I don't know. He decided that's too general, that's too broad. I need to be targeting individual women that I disagree with. And so he tweeted this. A Newsmax article saying that his rant had raised the dander of his political opponents. He decided to say dander raised, I put a photo. Of one individual, Olivia Juliana. But do you get what he's doing there? He's saying that because he didn't find this one activist, this one, from her own words, a survivor of sexual assault, since he doesn't find her sexy enough, it's an example of what he's saying. They don't deserve rights because I don't want to have sex with them right now. That's what a sitting congressman decided to do. To target one individual activist as not giving him an erection, and thus she doesn't deserve rights. Don't well, say, thankfully, don't say erection in a Matt Gates story. I beg of you. That's what it is. That's what it is. This is the Jordan Peterson thing. True. Like you, like the idea, the implicit idea that we only value people for their physical appearance is not enough. I'm going to make it super explicit for you. They say. So she responded, tweeting, "I'm sorry." You're five seven. No, look, that's, that's <laughs> I, I love me short men too. So let's that they were caught in the crossfire there, but I get that she's mad. Short kings. And um, yes, she goes on to say, "Am I not a little too old for you, Matt? I know you have a thing for targeting teenagers, but 19 is on the cusp, don't you think?" Oh, <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and like I can only imagine the hate that must be flooding towards her, and so for her to. To even load up Twitter, considering that a national figure decided to make her sexiness a political debate. Like that is such an inherently disgusting thing for Matt Gates to do. Top five most disgusting things yeah. he's ever done. So the fact that she can even go on social media is impressive. But to clap back at him like that. It just makes me so happy. She's yeah. my new favorite person. Yeah, and if if you have like the stomach and the bandwidth and the time, I would say support her and like retweet mm -hmm. that and you know dunk on the haters. I think that a lot of people don't stick their necks out. A lot of people don't clap back because they're not sure whether they'll get support for doing so. Because we know there's way more right wing trolls than there are like people who actually have jobs. <laughs> and and have stuff to do than just troll people online. Also, yeah. we don't do that as much. But anyway, I would just say so to support her because that's amazing. Hundred um, percent. I want to raise just one other point. Coming off this Matt Gates thing, do you remember when uh, Hillary Clinton, who admittedly I'm not a big fan of, remember when she referred to the Trump supporters as deplorables? Ugh. And the right oh. fainted away onto a couch designed for that purpose. How could how could you say that we're deplorable? How could you imply that there's something wrong with us? You know, we who cheer when Mexicans are labeled rapists and murderers. How could you say that we're awful? <laughs> ha! They're not they're not hot. They don't deserve rights. That's a good one, Congressman. That is real funny. I love it. Can you can you start targeting individuals? Can you attack them individually as not being sexy enough? That's awesome. But don't call us deplorables. We're not bad people. That's not like core to our goddamn identity that we're awful, that we thrive on the even perceived, even inaccurately perceived pain of those we've been taught to hate and fear. We're not deplorable though, but yes, tell me more about the individual Americans that you don't wanna sleep with. Mm -hmm. Freaking amazing, the state of the Republican Party. Ugh. It's not just him though. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.